Franken Tune Franken Tune Studio Welcome back! Hello and welcome. This is Enrique from Franken Tune Studio. Today I'm gonna show you how to use our Affinity Designer Pack Rough Shaders. Rough Shaders is a set of vector brushes for Affinity Designer. They have been manually crafted to add some raw and aggressive textures to your flat vector shapes in no time. There are no subtleties when it comes to rough shaders, just a striking and in-your-face texturing goodness. Without any further ado, let's get started. Importing rough shaders on Windows or Mac is super simple. Go to the Brushes panel, select Import Brushes and look for the file named Frankentune Rough Shaders dot AF Brushes. Click Open and a confirmation dialog will appear. Click OK and that's it. Now you'll have plenty of flexible textures at your disposal. On your iPad, tap the brush icon at the top right. Next, select Import Brushes, tap the brush file, and wait while it loads into the app. Ok, that was easy. Equally simple is to actually use the pack as well. Select the pen tool and draw a path across the shape you want to add your texture to. By the way, you can download the work files for this demo. Just go to the link in the description. The download includes some sample brushes, so you can follow along. You can adjust the size of your textures by modifying the width slider from the stroke panel. Then, just clip the texture to the target shape. The beauty of these textures is that you can manipulate them after applying them. You can also try more textures in place to see which one suits you better. Since these brushes are horizontally seamless, you can try different width values on the fly. Keep in mind, these textures weren't made to resemble any specific surface. This gives you the freedom to use whichever texture you like without worrying if that's the right texture for your shape. Use try them as you go and see what looks best for you. The color palette I'm using here is also available in your free download. An affinity document is included, so you can sample the colors on your iPad. Using rough shaders on the iPad is pretty straightforward either. You can follow along your target shape to create some instant volume to it. I'll be using the pen tool for this task as well. Remember to keep your paths simple at first and then you can edit them further as needed. As you can see, the core mechanics remains the same across all devices. You don't need any advanced skills to use these brushes. That's what it makes them super appealing to beginners and professional illustrators equally. This is one of my favorite packs to date because of its simplicity. Making it, though, was another story. However, the difficulty of the creation process really pays off in the end, once you realize how simple this works and the stunning results you're able to achieve within seconds. Once you put your hands on the free demo brushes, or even better, on the actual pack, you'll see how fun and addictive it becomes. The fun factor is one of the main concerns I keep in mind when making a new pack. Art makes no sense if you don't have fun during the process. We've included some extra brushes designed to fit narrow shapes. We call them alternative shaders. These brushes work the same as regular ones. The only difference is the direction they're pointing towards. As a result, you'll find them really useful for specific situations. I need to apply my texture along these tiny tubes you see here. So these are ideal for showing you how alternative shaders work. You can find these alternative shaders at the bottom of the list. 
you don't need to be super precise when texturing with rough shaders. As their name implies, these brushes were meant to be used in a more distressing way. The more sketchy your shading looks, the more interesting it might be on your final illustration. Just try to follow a cohesive light direction across your entire scene, and you'll be good no matter what you do. This is another set where happy accidents can become your bread and butter for achieving outstanding results. If you like our content, this is an excellent chance to consider subscribing to our channel and like this video. You can also support our Frankenstein project by checking out our website. There you'll find tons of brushes and tools for Affinity and Procreate, both free and paid. We've put the link in the description. As you can see, you don't need to be an expert to use this pack. It's all about enjoying the process and keeping an open mind to experimentation. I hope you have enjoyed this video. See you next time. Franken two. Franken two. Franken two. Franken two. Franken two. Franken two.